you and I both know, except the Lord build a house, it cannot stand. I feel the same way about the regional church. Except the Lord build us from inside out, we cannot stand. The regional church is only as strong as its congregations, its members, its clergy, its leaders. And so we want the Lord to build the Christian church in Tennessee. So I invite you um, this week and even next week to be in prayer with me as the Lord rebuilds and builds the Christian church in Tennessee. Not only our churches and congregations and our people, um, but Bethany Hills, our oasis, um, our Eden. We want the Lord to build everything about us. I want you to pray for me and pray for our region. Pray for yourself and what God may be asking you to contribute and to do as we seek to listen to God and what God wants for our regional church, what God wants for our congregations, what God wants for our people and partnerships. Friends, we have uh, had a lot of things happen over the last two years with the pandemic, uh, with the war in Ukraine. Now they say that we're on the verge of recession. Uh, we are feeling it in every sense of the word, but God is not shaken. God is in our midst and we shall not be moved. That doesn't mean that we have our rose colored glasses around what's happening in the world today. But what it does mean is our hope is built on nothing less. And so we trust God. We're working to trust each other, but it's going to take each and every one of us. So this week and even next week, I'm inviting you to join me in, to, in prayer. I will be praying actually from Monday, next Monday to the very next Monday, moving on into July um, for 12 hours a day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so there is no sign up or anything like that. But every day over the next two weeks, I will be praying. And so I want to invite you to do so. You may say, well, what are the dates? What are the dates? Well, I'm going to start praying on Wednesday, um, June 22nd. And I'm not going to uh, stop praying until Wednesday, uh, July 6th. So you can pray with me and we'll be praying and listening for what God wants to do, not only in our region, not only in our congregations, but within ourselves. I believe that we live in a season where the next move is going to be radical. And so I invite you to join me, join our entire region, our board, everyone in this radical move that God is going to do. Now, listen, I'm not talking about any kind of political radicalness or anything like that. I'm talking about a Holy Spirit move. I'm talking about a Holy Spirit move that we are driven and called by the Spirit to grow and to go. To not only grow and go through our, our regional church, but in our congregations, in our partnerships, in our relationships. That God is on the move and we don't want to miss it. So you may say, well, Dr. Williams, you got a lot of fire there. I really do. It is the wind of the Spirit that's blowing and moving and we don't want to miss it. The Bible tells us that uh, the children of Israel, they were moved uh, by a, cl a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And we are being called. We are being directed and guided by a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The Holy Spirit at work. And so we, we um, invite you to send us, email us your prayer requests, um, whatever they may be, and we will be praying over them. But we invite you to pray for us too. Pray that we will hear and we will listen and we will move as the Spirit uh, gives direction. We love you. God bless you. Until next time.